Hello everyone, I'm Eloise of Finting Field, and today I'm going to show you just a really quick tip on how you can deal with over-twisting on just a couple of cards in your tablet weaving. The last video I did was on Osberg 21, which has two cards in it that are over-twisting, and the rest of the cards are twist-neutral. So to deal with the over-twisting on those two cards, you have to stop every so often, untie, chase the twist out of it, and then retie it together. So I'm going to show you a quick, easy trick on how to deal with that over-twisting on just those two cards without having to untie and retie all those knots. And that's with the use of fishing swivels. This can be scaled up and used for your entire piece if you have a piece of weaving where the entire thing is over-twisting, but it can be tricky to deal with the tails twisting around each other as you untwist the over-twisting. This is a twisted kind of video. So let's get started. Oh, this tablet weaving is turning out so pretty. But you'll notice one thing. Two of the cards are not twist neutral. So one of the ways that you can combat this problem is by introducing fishing swivels. I picked these up really inexpensively at the hardware store. You could use all six if you want to include them on the border cards, but I'm only going to add two to this project today. So first thing you want to do is open up the package. That makes sense, right? I'll set those ones aside. Oh, of course. So at first I will have to shift the work down so I can access the knots. You want it snug, and then you want to chase the twist all the way to the end. I'll turn it around so you can see. So I will use my finger to chase the twist down to the end. I did see someone used, I think it was a paper clip or something, to chase the twist down. That's a genius idea. I wish I could find a paper clip right now. I've chased the twist all the way to the end, and this is the knot that I need to untie. And I will add the fishing swivel on there like I did for that one. It's just simply a square knot on either side of the twist, and then you can take the twist out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the twist out of the yarn. First thing I'm going to do is put a little twist into these four threads and feed them through the eye of your fishing swivel. And pull all four threads through and then tie a knot. You can do a square knot just like we've always done. You can do a square knot or a surgeon's knot. all four threads through, make it taut, and then finish the square knot. And then that won't pull out. Then you'll take the other end and you'll feed it through the other hole on the other side of the fishing swivel. to make sure that all the threads are in the right place before I tie the knot. Like so. I'll pull it really tight and 
tie a square knot on the other end. Now, of course, this is going to be difficult to see because, of course, it's on the other side. But I'm going to tie a knot. And that should be my solid square knot. And then I'm going to cut this a little shorter so it doesn't tangle up around the threads. Because after you chase the, th the twist all the way down to the end, it's going to, this is going to spin. That's how it was designed. This will spin. And if you leave the threads long, they'll tangle around each other. I also have the, uh, the knots further away from these threads from the rest of the knots so that, again, it won't tangle around each other. So now that you have both your fishing swivels in place, the rest of this weaving should go pretty quickly. So every time you end up with a, an over twist in your warp, you can just chase it down to the end and unswivel it. Thank you.